No. Of course not. Yeah. So like you guys leave them. Okay. We are not really concerned about what you like. Except that we're not tagging. What's your badge number? 5906, sir. Put me on YouTube. Will do. I like how as soon as I put my camera down, they show up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I fuck, dude. Yeah. So you guys are refusing to identify yourself? What's your badge number? Both of you, what's your badge number? Yeah. <sighs> What's that? Hold it like this. Yeah, yeah hold it sideways. But when I asked if we were being detained, he said, of course not. Because we're, okay. we're not actually doing anything illegal. Right. And then the one that refused to identify herself was like, well, let's call patrol. What's your badge numbers? I already gave it to you. Uh, but she her. didn't. 14939. Nice. Have you taken our pictures for uh, art? And they send their name badges around. Despite that I've written on the sidewalk, claims I'm illiterate. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, it could be limited to what you're writing. So. Yeah, I, I only know. To how be to fair, when I, write. I mean, right? Uh, you could have studied just certain things. Can I get you guys to email me those pictures too? For, uh, what do you mean? 
send me the pictures and email. You can email me yours? Sure. Why do you, why do you feel entitled? Well, mine's it? actually already on the internet. Okay. Well, you're not going to get it. Well, I'm not. I don't feel entitled. I'm asking you, will you? No. Okay. So, to be clear, you want us to stop doing this right now? Of course you do. And why is that? Yeah, why because is you're that? you're spreading messages that will incite others to violence. How do you figure? Read the message. Mm -hmm. Any intelligent person can figure that out. So filming the police would incite people. So I'm Excuse inciting me? violence right filming now. Filming the so police would incite these people. these messages will incite mm -hmm. people. I think so. So the cops murdering people on video isn't what's inciting people. Exactly. It's people this. writing messages about it. There's nothing to do with this. There's a lot to do with it. Yeah. Yeah, because if that wasn't happening, we wouldn't be here in the first place. I'm concerned about why you're here. Well, apparently you are concerned about why I'm here. I'm concerned about what you're writing. Yeah. So you're basing so this you on First Amendment we issues? You came over here? So you're basing, basing your basing interest on over. what I'm writing? Yeah, yeah. concerns me. Yeah, it's pretty clearly a First Amendment issue. No, we, so I'm glad that we have you on record for that. Yeah, I'm concerned about it. What's the First Amendment about? Yeah. Why do we have that? What's that have to do with this? It has That's to do with you saying that you're concerned about the stuff we're government? writing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the First Amendment about? You can write it anywhere. Have you read the First Amendment? We're concerned about where you're writing it. Oh, so you were, you were concerned about the, the place? Of course. The location. <laughs> so then do we have your permission to go up the street and do it? I'm concerned about right here. That's what we're about. Across from my city. So you're kind of concerned about us riding on public property? I'm concerned about what you're riding. I've already told you that. You're concerned about what we're riding. I'm glad that you're making you're that very clear. I'm concerned about who's seeing it. Because you're talking about? As I said, I'm, about the I'm not sure if you're clear what the First Amendment says, but it pretty clearly says that you can't limit people's speech. Okay. You can't limit what people I'm write. Concerned about it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's not a legal thing. You being okay. concerned. Well, mm -hmm. we've politely requested and that we've you go politely told you that we're not going to do that. Okay. And I politely asked you guys to leave, actually, to, uh, but you haven't done that. Across from our facility, we have a security mm -hmm. interest here. You're inside my city, where I live. I'm concerned about that. We're, we are empowered to protect the city. Yeah, I'm empowered to live here. I'm also empowered by the First Yvonne Amendment to write Santa stuff. Gibson, right? Whether you like what I'm writing or not. That's how it works. Okay. Well, hmm? Get busy then. Well, I don't know that you're not going to attack us? me if I keep writing. Because you obviously are concerned about me. I haven't threatened you. Uh, your presence is threatening me. Yeah. That's an that's a opinion of your own. Yeah. What? That's your opinion. Yeah, no, it's what's happening. we haven't threatened I you. I'm scared that you're going to attack me if I keep yeah. writing. That's your choice. Huh? And that's your choice to be here harassing us for no reason. All right, you could leave. Yep. Because we pretty clearly have not threatened you in any stellar way. Uh, some of these messages are actually threatening. No, they're not. I have a, I have a question about her camera usage. Um, are you allowed to use cell phone cameras on duty? I'm pretty fine. On your cell phone. That. Your private cell phone? Alright. Yeah. I, I'm not at all worried about you using the cell phone just for no, the record. No, I'm, I'm not worried about it either. I just know that in New York it's not allowed. I'm actually, unlike other people, I'm actually rather happy to have a record of what's going on. Yep. It protects you too. So. Go ahead. Yeah, you're fine. Exactly. Yeah, it's public property. You can do whatever you want. messages are you concerned with? The ones that say uh, justice for Stanley Gibson? Concerned with all the messages, sir. All of them? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's look at these messages. <laughs> yeah. Are you concerned about the one where we would like you to leave? It's rather polite, actually. There's actually room. I, I did put a period on there, but I could put please after that.
Nah, they, they said we're special. We are kind of. That's that.
No. Nope, not at all. Yeah, I'm not afraid to give you mine either. I just don't want to. Yeah, and I'm not armed and, you know, a kidnapper, so. No. You actually have nothing to fear from me. So, what about you, and what about people who read this and decide to film you? You're worried about people that read this and decide to film you? Yeah. I'm worried about people that shoot unarmed people. Yeah. Yeah. Some are more realistic than others. Nah. Yeah. Some actually happen on a regular basis. Some of those fears. Where would you like us to protest here? What would be the proper way, according to you? Is it though? <laughs> so, <laughs> In theory, yeah. But then armed people show up when you actually do stuff right. freely. It's, it's free to ride on the sidewalk. Yeah. So and then they, sh they call for more armed people to show up? Not yet. Yeah. If you're not stopping us, what are you doing here? I'm interested in what you want to. Oh, you're just I see. hanging out. <laughs> what are you doing here? You know what I'm doing here. What are you doing here? Why are you here? I'm interested in this message I'm putting on Oh, yeah. Are you working? I think you actually ought to take an interest in the message. Hold up, though. Because people have been warning the cops for a long time that violent people were starting to do shit. You're like on if the cops right kept now, being yeah. violent and the cops kept being violent. So I think you guys ought to actually look into that message about not shooting people, about not arresting people for stuff that actually is a crime. Because most most jobs have some stipulation that you're not like allowed to just hang out or read on the job. Is there any kind of ETA when these patrol officers are going to show up and threaten us? Is it just open-ended, we're just waiting, or is there some kind of estimate of when they're going to get here?
I was gonna say casual Friday, but it's actually Tuesday. So. <laughs> I do see why you guys need more cops, though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? There's obviously not enough cops to stand around watching people for no reason. Have you guys seen the Eric Scott video? One outside of Costco? Summerlin? Okay. Yeah, you can't actually park the opposite direction on the street. That's one of their buddies. That's one of their buddies. Yeah. Probably off duty. Yeah. <laughs> See, he likes that one. Yeah. What does that one say? Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, no on the Eric Scott video, or you guys thinking it over, or you guys haven't seen the Eric Scott video? No, or exercising your right not to answer. Or? I'm just curious. It's not like you know. Obviously, you're not required to answer. Oh, yeah. Somebody should talk to that guy about parking on the right side of the street and not in a fire lane. person, they cared. They scared me really bad. And she came up like that. And no, I'm not fucking around like she did. Aggressive. 
He's kind of describing his emotions. She's really right. aggressive, and if we're allowed to film, she shouldn't be telling me to stop filming. On like your guys' uniform colors, is there like a policy of difference because yours is a little greener or is it just like his is older so it faded? You guys still use those giant jailhouse keys? Those are really cool. Like you guys still should use those, even if you don't have to? I mean, you gotta admit you like those keys. I'm like the big ones, they're like a foot long. Well, I thought we were waiting for the patrol officers. Are they not what, coming? What are you doing here? So are the patrol not coming? Because that's what I'm waiting for. You know what? I don't believe we got his name and badge number. Or the guy who appears to be a member of the gang unit. Can we get their name and badge numbers? Is that a no? Because you guys are actually legally required to tell us. You don't know what his name is? Is that what you said? Uh, well, he could probably tell me. Now we have Nevada Highway Patrol. <laughs> yeah, they're just visiting, though. Is there a basketball court up there? Because I thought I heard people playing basketball one time when we were here. Do you know, is there a basketball court up there? What's your badge number? Yeah. 8222. Okay. 8222. So, what was your name and badge number? 7609. 7609? Okay. And to be clear, there's not a basketball court up there? Yeah. So, you don't actually work for the jail? Be undercover. 
I'm gonna try chalking again, even though I'm terrified. Well, I would like to get an answer on whether the patrol people are coming or not, because if they're not, I'd like to go chalk again. Because they told us we could. Well, yeah, they're just but interested. right. Well, that's the thing. I'm waiting for the patrol to show up, but if they're not going to show up anyway, then I'd like to go ahead and chalk. Before we're just hanging out. So, are we waiting for the patrol officers to show up, or are they not coming? Yeah, I don't know what you're waiting on. Okay. Well, I was waiting on that answer, but... Yeah. The, the Stanley Gibson was sitting in a car completely unarmed and doing nothing to nobody. It was pretty horrible. 